first find a way to jack up the vehicle either get your car on ramps or jack the car up safely put it on a jack stand next you're going to go underneath the passenger side tire as you can see in here we have a clip up here a clip right there and then a clip here and then two clips right here and that should remove this panel that allows us to access the belt inside so using my snap tool i have removed all five of the clips here i'm able to pull this out so i can get this part through here all right once that's down set this out of the way we can finally get in here to our belt tension tension right i'm gonna turn that clockwise that's gonna let pressure off the belt we're gonna be able to take the belt off and there's a mounting bolt right there that's 13 mil there's a mounting bolt above it that is 13 mil as well so what i've done here is i've got a 14 wrench on the tensioner then I take a breaker bar, slide it, tighten that, and then while I have one hand tightened, I'll remove the belt. So with the tensioner tightened, I was able to remove this belt. With the belt removed, you can now easily see one mounting bolt there, and then the other one is up there. But I'm going to take off this belt. As you can see, it's rusty. We're going to replace that and replace this tensioner. Let's go ahead and remove this belt. As you can see, this is the crank. That's the power steering. This is the tensioner. That is the alternator up there. It goes around the water pump. Right, so alternator, water pump, power steering, tensioner, crank. AC and then back up to the alternator. Very simple, it's not that serious. So with the tensioner not tensioned, we're gonna remove the belt. No worries. And then there are two 13 millimeter bolts for the tensioner. So with my serpentine belt removed, I have a knuckle on my ratchet with a 13 socket on the end. I'm gonna go right here where the tensioner is and remove remove this bolt here Remember, it's just two mounting bolts for the tensioner I actually found it a bit easier to attach the the knuckle joint to my 10 inch extension so i can easily put it on there and then and loosen that without the ratchet Thought that would be a bit easier. Also, a little maybe a little easier to reach up in there. Anyways, so this is our first mounting bolt here. It just came out right there. That's that one right there. Now we should be able to swivel this aside and get a bit more up in there. So in the end, I had to start the bolt and loosen it up top. And then here I have the 10 inch extension on the knuckle on the 13 socket and I'm able to just loosen it by hand here. And as you can see, we have the belt tensioner removed and we have our two mounting bolts there, as you can see. And then right above it is the water pump. Again, this is the crank. Then this is the AC. Going up to the alternator. And here is the new tensioner, side by side. So you can see they line up and they match. So we're just gonna take this and slide it in where it came from, right through here. So I was actually able to remove the coolant reservoir here. So as you can see here, 
our tensioner is down there. We're just gonna line that up and then put the bolt through. So up here we have the 10 inch extension with the knuckle on the 13 and we are tightening up the new tensioner from up top. So I was actually able to completely tighten the tensioner by going through here and actually able to get to that bolt there. So perfect use there. And then now underneath the car, we are going to tighten up this last bolt. As you can see there, that's our last one. And then we'll put the new serpentine belt on the tensioner and we're good to go. So here is the diagram. Whenever we take off the tensioner, we're gonna use this to install the belt back properly. As you can see, it starts from the AC on your right, goes up on the alternator, hooks around the water, around the power steering, around the tensioner, around the crank, back to the AC. With the tensioner tightened and the new belt on, make sure all of the lines line up. It's, all our, it's around all the pulleys, everything is in place. You have the same distance at the bottom here as at the top. You are safely on the same lines as the AC running up the back as well, and then go to the top and check it out. You can see there's the AC. The line is in, <laughs> is, is in line. Coming around the, uh, the alternator pump here, or the alternator pulley, right? And the belt is parallel. Everything is running nicely. Make sure to check that before you start your vehicle. With everything tightened down in here, you want to take your panel, slide it up through here, install those clips. Install your Phillips head screw in the top right. That's going to line up with that. We're going to go up here with it. Install those two larger clips up there. And then these two smaller holes. We're going to put these in the... Be careful to avoid the icicles. These could break at any time. And come attack you. Dangerous. After that, you are pretty much good to go. Make sure you have your coolant reservoir installed properly. <laughs> 